Hello to all the civic students of Mount Rath Community School. Your teacher, Sarah Mah Miss Sarah Mahan, got in touch with me because you are working on the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which is a document that I am also working on, or working with. My name is Evan Joyce. I'm from Glenborough, Rosenalis, County Leash, and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is a very important document to my work, and I hope it will be to your future work as well. I have three uh, articles that are my favourites. Article number one, all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. Number 25 as well, everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of themselves and their families, including food, clothing, housing, medical care. And article 26, everyone has the right to an education and that this education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the strengthening of respect for human rights and tolerance between all nations. So my first question to you is, what's your favourite article or articles and why? Which are the most important, do you think, in today's world? Um, I'm making this video on the 1st of January 2021 which I think is a really, really, really important day when it comes to the Declaration of Human Rights and especially what Ireland and Irish people can contribute to seeing these rights fulfilled for more people. Because today, Ireland takes its seat at the world's most powerful political international forum, that is the United Nations Security Council. We have a seat at this table from today for the next two years not only because this is the beginning of our term uh, on the UN Security Council, but especially because of where the world is at right now. We are 72 years after the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was first presented and endorsed by what became all the nations of the world. 72 years later, a lot of these rights still aren't fulfilled. It's on the first day of 2021, just after a calamitous 2020, where uh, progress towards many rights has gone into reverse because of the COVID pandemic. And yes, Ireland has a seat at this table now, the UN Security Council. And I am pretty sure that what is said, and most as importantly, what is not said around this table, in the next two years may well determine progress towards fulfilling these rights for the world's fun most vulnerable people or lack of progress towards fulfilling these rights for the world's most vulnerable people for years to come. I'm here in Malawi. This is where I've been for most of the last 18 months now working on humanitarian operations. Here articles 25 and 26 are not fulfilled for a vast number of people here. Um, we won't go in, get into the why of that right now, specific to Malawi, but it's the case for, for millions, tens and hundreds of millions of people in several of the world's poorest countries. So, the Irish ambassador and the Irish diplomats and the Irish Ministry of Foreign Affairs, what they decide to say and prioritise in their two-year term on the UN Security Council is really about based on what you think. It's based on what are the interests of Irish people. So that's another question. What are you interested in? What should our objectives be for our two-year term on the UN Security Council? And more broadly then, what do you want the world to look like when you're finished school, when you've got the right to vote, when you're an adult, when you're going out into the world? Um, yeah, I think that's enough maybe for the first video. And uh, if you have questions for me, I would love to hear them. Sincerely, I would love to hear your questions about anything relating to the UN Declaration of Human, Universal Declaration of Human Rights, to Malawi, humanitarian aid work, whatever you like. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, and Happy New Year.